Stun bombs were an item I didn't talk about before, and that was for a few reasons. First, I didn't want to overwhelm players with all kinds of information on too many different bomb types, and second, I wanted to keep my focus on smoke bombs due to their underuse being the main reason most Unity players get detected often. If the smoke bomb is a one-size-fits-all item, the stun bomb is the exact opposite. It's specialized, it's used in very specific circumstances, and it's time to learn what those are. This video is about simplifying stun bombs, but it's also about understanding why we would want to use them instead of smoke. What makes stun bombs different from smoke? Well, the bad is that, one, stun bombs have a very short effect time. Very short. You have enough time to kill one, maybe two people. Three is pushing it before it fades. Worse, stun bombs don't cloak or hide you from the enemy's sight. So if anyone else is looking at you while you're doing your thing, you're guaranteed to be caught and fought. Now the good is that stun bombs make no sound. They sound like they make sound, but only to us, the player. While I realize that sounds weird, you only need to look at the video Black Time made on the main assassination, The Prophet. Do you see how he uses stun bombs, and no one in the area notices, no matter how close they are, or whether they're in line of sight? Stun bombs are treated by AC Unity's guard AI as completely silent. Here's another example. You see how these guys don't turn around? We can use this. Not in every situation, of course, but the silence of the stun bomb is what makes it useful over a smoke bomb. Smoke bombs attract attention. They're loud, they're a visual disturbance, and they will cause every guard in the vicinity to stare at the cloud, so you better get out of there quickly. Stun bombs don't have this issue, which means you can use them to quickly disable two or three guards without anyone else noticing. In situations where you're completely out of smoke bombs, stun bombs can also act as a secondary reserve of crowd control if you're using them for the same reasons. You can also use them to set up fast stuns for killing a guard into a hiding spot. In my video on the Paris story The Great Escapist, I use a berserk blade to stun a guard just outside of a hiding door, but you can easily use a stun bomb in this situation as well since it will attract no attention. Of course, you can also use them in combat to set up some brief unblockable attacks on enemies, but since their effect time is so short, smoke is more suited to this purpose, since it will also shroud you from gunners on the periphery of the battle. There's not much else to say about this item, but if you have any other clever uses for them, please share them with each other in the comments section. Thanks so much for watching, and stay sneaky.